Good evening. This is the discussion of the Accounting 211 midterm exam to be taken in the summer of 2015. As you can tell, these slides are the slides that appear as a PowerPoint slideshow um, of the study guide. First, the test is this one is worth 2,750 points. The final exam worth 2,750 points. The Connect homework 1,400 points. The blogs 1,100 points, and the Connect case study 2,000 points. The nature of this test is that you have two hours to complete it. The test includes 20, uh, 20 multiple choice, and these are worth 70 points each, and four problems worth 340 points each. On chapter one, we have several problems, I'm sorry, several multiple choice questions and a problem. So the multiple choice, one question will ask, on what financial statement does an account appear? So for example, know which accounts appear on the balance sheet, on the, finan uh, on the income statement, on the statement of stockholders equity, and on the cash flow statement. Um, Check that because I've said here at the bottom that it can't be the cash flow statement. So just the three statements, balance sheet, income statement, or statement of stockholders equity. Then there's a second multiple choice question on the accounting equation. This will probably have um, some numbers, but the basic equation, remember, is assets equals liabilities plus equity. So one of the numbers will be an X for you to solve. One question is, how is the income statement laid out? I'm already going to tell you the answer to that question is revenue minus expense equals net income. And then, how's the cash flow statement laid out? Uh, might be a little more to this question, but the basic um, situation is uh, cash flows from operating activities plus cash flows from financing activities plus cash flows from investing activities. So operating, investing, and financing. One problem will appear on uh, the test from chapter one, and that's prepare balance sheet. So in this type of problem, I want you to know what goes on the balance sheet, and I give you too much. So I give you things that go on the balance sheet, but I also give you things that go on the income statement, on the statement of stockholders equity. So you need to figure out which of the things I give you belong on the um, balance sheet. And whatever you do, don't use everything. Some of it will not belong there. For chapter two, there'll be two questions that ask about journal entries and what the correct journal entry will be for a certain tran you know, tr transaction. Um, two questions, so we're up to four multiple choice, will be what's the normal balance of a certain account? Think of the rules of debit and credit. One question will ask um, what's the left side of a T account called? That's debit. Or what's the right side of a T account called? And that's credit. Again, five total multiple choice questions from chapter two. The one problem from chapter two would be, here are transactions, prepare four journal entries. One of the things I wanna tell you about the problem section is that this is a blackboard test. The multiple choice is self-explanatory. It will be um, questions where one of the four answers uh, is correct and you just pick it. But the problems will appear as essays. Uh, that's the type of question Blackboard calls them. 
And it really means you're gonna have to typeset your answer. Chapter three, we have a multiple choice question that asks, what's the name of the account that reduces the net book value of equipment? Accumulated depreciation, hint, hint. Um, one question where you're actually gonna have to calculate depreciation, so remember that the formula is cost minus salvage value divided by uh, the number of years. One question will be, propose the, adjour the adjusting journal entry to fix the supplies asset account. So uh, study the um, adjustment entry for supplies. One account will be, uh, or one question will be, what type of accounts are temporary? And if you think about it, these are the accounts that are closed. If you look back at your book, the three types that are temporary are revenue, expense, and um, dividends. There is one problem um, in, in this outline page. Uh, I did multiple choice as one, problems as two, but it doesn't mean there are two problems, just one. And the problem is prepare three adjusting entries. So if you remember, we had a video where I showed you three, those are the three. Chapter four. I'll be looking for a sales journal entry. So remember, one sales transaction causes two journal entries. Beware the answer that only has one journal entry. So one question will deal with sales returns and allowances. Remember the theory here. A sales return, where the merchandise comes back, uh, causes two journal entries. One, um, to reverse the sale and reverse accounts receivable. And the second, to um, bring the merchandise back in with a debit to cost of goods sold. I'm sorry, with a debit to merchandise inventory and a credit to cost of goods sold. On the other hand, a sales allowance only has one journal entry, and that's the one um, reducing the sale and reducing accounts receivable. One multiple choice question will be, what does it mean when the entry to record sales and the entry to remove inventory are for the same amount? Remember what I've told you about that. That can't happen unless either you're wrong or the company is run by idiots. Because if the sale um, is only for cost, you know, if the sale price and the cost are the same, who's going to pay for the lights? Who's going to pay for the salaries and so on? The last question um, for multiple choices, calculate a purchase discount. So here I would give you something like 210 and 30, and I'd give you an invoice amount and tell you to calculate the discount. Or I might say calculate uh, how much cash the company gets at the end. The problem from chapter four, prepare three sales related journal entries. That could be a basic sale, could be the purchase of merchandise, could be a sales return and or a sales allowance. Finally, from chapter five, um, we just have multiple choice questions, just two of them. One of them is, what does FIFO mean? First in, first out hint. And second, which is not one of the four inventory costing methods? Well, remember those are FIFO, LIFO, specific identification, and weighted average. So the one that's not part of that list is the one that's not an inventory costing method. So if you go back and you look at this study guide, there are 20 questions and they're all listed out here, which means you don't have to guess what the questions on the test are gonna be. Uh, the 20 I laid out are the 20. The same with the problems. You, you know what the four problems are gonna be. So I wish you luck. Do your best and um, feel free to ask me questions if you have them as you prepare.